Hi, welcome back to Drupal 7 tutorial how to create your website. This is part 5 and we will be creating some pages with static content. Uh, just to remind you we are going to achieve the look and feel and uh, functionality of youtubejunkie.com and currently we have our design up and ready and we want to in this part we want to make those many links operational. These links should display static pages containing simply some text about our site. So, how do we do this? I have to go to the panel and uh, I want to add some content, right? And here I will add new content. I want to add some basic pages because the, 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 it will be simply basic pages. So we will start with maybe terms, okay, and okay, the terms has been created, great. I will add another one. This time it will be fan pages. Oh, I forgot about one thing. Uh, I don't really want to be people to be commenting on this, but I see close this as default, so it's okay. All right, and one more. Let's create. What is this anyway? All right. Okay, it's ready. Okay, so uh, like you can see, these sites are under such uh, addresses, so content and uh, simply some machine name which comes from the title. Uh, so what we have to do is first we want to hook these up to the to the links that we have on page so we have this menu but currently those uh, hyperlinks are not active they point to nowhere so uh, what I want to do is to actually make these links active so home page should always point to the root right so we will use the base path method what is this anyway should point to the base path but then we should go into um, content and I think it was what anyway and we are actually repeating these for the other two as well we just have to remember about putting uh, correct correct path and I also want to put the link here this is uh, this is actually the logo so logo should point to the home page okay let's let's update it and I want to clear the cache just in case but the links are working okay they seem to be pointing to the right uh, yeah the logo is also working so what uh, there is left to do I want to put there some content to these web pages so it will be a simple HTML with text so let's start with terms I have some HTML right here and then what is this anyway alright and what do we have fun pages 
fun pages uh, will simply contain some links to our social websites so Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook and I think it's quite a good idea to have something like this let's see there we go what about that? so we have already some static pages operational doesn't look so bad but there are two things I noticed and one actually I forgot about so when I look at terms and when I compare it to the YouTube Janky I can see that it looks different so there are two differences the text is differently formatted and the header let's start with the text because it's uh, it's a simple matter which are actually forgot about I when I was inputting the text I choose the filtered HTML which actually uh, gets rid of some HTML tags from the text because I'm an admin here and nobody else can mess with this I will put full HTML and this will solve the matter I will change it for the other two as well okay let's see yes perfect now it's perfect now the only thing that remains is the header yeah I don't like this header I think I will repla replace it with something else uh, I have to go to the page templates and there we go in the content uh, area there is it is right here actually this header is this h1 uh, tag I, I think I will replace it with something something else I actually have it ready right here so actually I replaced the H1 with DIV with some span in it and it it's uh, of course class classed and uh, handled in my cascade style sheet I'll upload it clear the cache and now it should look much better very good now it looks like it should this is the uh, YouTube Janky website so you can see that uh, the static pages look actually like uh, they look currently on our website so this is our website and it's fine it's working great okay so we have our, our static pages and we have finished the part 5 of how to create your website Drupal 7 tutorial and now uh, there are two big parts ahead of us creating new content and create views and having done these our website will be almost fully operational I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you around